Whoa. What are you doing, Junie? You playing with beads? Good morning. Oh, wow. You have lots of energy this morning. This is a cool set. Oh, is this your bracelet? Or necklace? You are a crazy toddler. Good morning, you all. Sounds about right, waking up to a screaming Junie. You're a crazy kid. She has so much energy in the mornings. She is definitely a morning person. Oh, you're wearing your princess dress? You wanna show your princess dress? Look, ooh, that's your princess dress. What are we gonna do today, Junie? We got music class? Are you excited? I like it. Yeah, we would go into music class here. Um, haven't really vlogged it though, just cause we used to vlog it in the past and now we're just kinda like, it's just nice to just be in the moment and go to music class, but yeah. We got that today. What other fun stuff are we doing? What is that? Beba. Beba. We should do a growth check, Jenny. Growth check. Growth check. So since it's spring and we've never seen our backyard before in full bloom, it's really fun because we have no idea what's growing back here and just things are just starting to pop up everywhere. What are those? These are like shallots, I think. Oh, shallots? But they're kind of like mushy. So I don't know what that means. Huh. Like, they're not hard. Like yeah. they're supposed to be. Maybe they're just not fully grown then. Maybe. Something is, well, I don't know what this is got little buds on it. They look really woody. Are they ginger? Paris, why are you in the garden bed? I can't I can't Also, this. what is this? This looks like some kind of herb. <laughs> that looks like a weed. Whoa. Yeah, it's just a weed. It's just a weed? It smells like um, mint, though. Could be mint. Yeah, I don't know. There's stuff popping up everywhere, you guys. More shallots. I feel like someone just sprinkled shallots everywhere. There's more of that stuff. What's this? If you guys know what this is, message us on Facebook. Or comment on Instagram if you know what this is. I'll give you guys a closer look. It's like woody and has it's like a bush. To me, it looks, I don't know. Like, it's, is it a berry? It's weird. Yeah, I don't know. It's really, like, the limbs are really strong. Wow, look at the raspberries. Yeah. These are growing so fast. I hope these are raspberries. Yeah, they are. It's some sort of berry. Look how they climb. Look at them, like, swirl. They, like, around. swirl together. Look, look at, at this. this. They got a rope and it, like, swirled around. These are growing. Wow. So fast. I don't know if you know, but a crazy study just came out. Um, I don't know. Corbin has all the information. He should really be telling you. But it kind of like shook my world a little bit. And it's like, that's definitely an exaggeration, but it's about sunscreen and sun exposure. So basically the, like the overall rule has been for like, as long as I can remember to like, if you're out in the sun, you should be wearing sunscreen and like limit sun exposure or else you're gonna put yourself at risk for skin cancer and and other things. It's just been protect yourself from the sun all the time. But I guess this study, the full study is gonna come out later um, this year, hopefully before summer because I think people should read it. But basically, that is no longer what people, the scientists are saying is true. They're basically saying that people who have more sun exposure are gonna live longer, healthier lives. And that sunscreen is actually not really the best. So I don't, I don't have the full article, so I can't tell you all the details. And if I did, I would link it down below. But basically, I don't know if that includes like natural sunscreen, kind of like the zinc oxide stuff. I don't know, but basically it's like, yes, you are more likely to get skin cancer if you have higher sun exposure, but you're more likely to live longer. So it's crazy. I don't know. It kind of blew my mind. I don't know how I feel about it. It just goes so against my, and like part of me always thought, okay, sunscreen, I don't know if that is really the best, but also definitely getting a sunburn is not good. So how do you find the balance? 
Do you just go out in the sun until you're about to get a sunburn and then you leave and go inside? I don't know. Crazy though, crazy. We'll see, I'm looking forward to reading more about it. And also just as a mom, like that could change the way I put sunscreen on Juniper and our, and our new baby when he or she is born. I don't know, I don't know, it's confusing. Are you feeling better, my love? I am, I'm feeling better. So you guys, we didn't put up a video on this channel on Monday. Usually Mondays we do a bump date on Kelsey's channel, but you just weren't feeling well. I was just so worn out, just so, so, so tired. Yeah. So I, was, I just needed a day off. Yeah, that's okay. What are you saying, Jen? You want Paris up here? Come here, Paris. Up, up, up. Come on. Come on. Up, up, up. Come on. Come on. Where is he? There. Oh, oh, I old help him. Dog. Oh, I help him. He needs some help. I help him. You want to go sit go. by Papa? You want to come sit by me? No. You want to sit in the middle? You want to sit by both of us? Okay, oh, squeeze in. Scooch. Oh, here comes the Junie bug. Um, but yeah, we were gonna talk about how we're doing. Oh, you, oh what? You do, you do it? Yourself. Okay. She's so independent. We were just gonna talk about like what is different about this second pregnancy compared to the first, mm -hmm. and obviously there's a lot of things just like different in our situation we're in a house we're not on the road traveling all the time yeah but i don't i don't know i feel like there's a lot of things that are different yeah what i feel you, like like you perceiving it as yeah, the person that's it. not in it i think although you are very tired and you're very worn out you definitely have way more energy this pregnancy which is crazy to say because you are so tired but last pregnancy literally you would just sleep for hours a day yeah like I you just would just remember, lay down and sleep and it was just me just hanging out i remember with the first pregnancy it's like i would just sit down and i would just literally fall asleep mm -hmm. i had never experienced that in my life it was like i constantly took nyquil like just like being like lulled to sleep yeah. all the time and i remember my eyes open like our baby moon you stayed in the bed for a full however long that was yeah how long were you we didn't there? even like get out of the bed you didn't want to get out of the bed nope. you were just in the bed <laughs> i was yeah yeah we had like room service ev for every single meal because i didn't even want to go anywhere yeah, that ever. was bad <laughs> that was pretty intense when that was at 16 no that was at 10 weeks yeah oh yeah because it was in nova scotia so now you're going into are you in your second trimester yet not yet besides feeling tired i feel pretty good i haven't been actually sick at all yeah for this pregnancy which is great you I've do definitely... dry heave a lot like if you smell oh my something. gosh we were watching this show last night and it was I want a show. <laughs> yeah I want a you want to watch the show yeah we were watching the show and it was the grossest i can't even talk about it this, is talk about this guy was eating cheese fondue oh, no, no. <laughs> with his hands <laughs> and it was just stop talking about it it's getting all clumpy just stop I thought about it this morning and I started actually dry heaving too. It was really gross. It was really gross. <laughs> really gross. What, what else is <laughs> What else is different yeah. with this pregnancy? <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like I'm able to stay a lot more active, which is good. Oh yeah, you've been running. I've been able to keep running. I've been doing yoga, which has been really nice. I think that Uga. uga. You want to do uga? I do uga. Okay. <laughs> show us show us your move. Show us. Do a uga position. Okay. Show me. Okay. There you go. Okay, do okay, your yoga. See. Downward dog. Let's see. There's actually a YouTube channel that you guys want. Isn't, isn't it like... Uga. 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 It's this kids yoga YouTube channel that they watch and do yoga together. Always face, always face. Okay, do a do okay, one. Let's Downward see. dog. <laughs> Good job. You're nervous. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, it's just been it's been pretty different than the first one. Definitely think that I'm showing. No one else would probably notice but me. I actually thought I haven't even told you this. I actually thought. The other night, I had stretch marks already, and I was like, 
Are you serious? I, <laughs> yeah, you I, showed me that. Yeah, well, it turns out they weren't actually stretch marks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she was so emotional and like, I have stretch marks now. I said, well, I got away what is it? with like my first pregnancy. I didn't really get stretch marks. I got a couple, but not really on my belly. They were like on my hips um, and like other places, but they weren't on my, t on my belly. But so this was on my belly. But it turns out it was just like from my pants. <laughs> I saw them though and they looked exactly, they were you like the purple so... color. They were like indented, but I was just from my pants. Cause then the next morning I was like, oh, those are gone. <laughs> You're so funny. I was so happy. Was like, yes. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, if I get stretch marks, I get them, but I'm only 10 weeks. So I was like, are you serious? <laughs> She didn't have stretch marks yet. She was very bummed about it. I think that's going to be it for today. Thumbs up if you like today's video. Yeah, Hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Be your feet are. Be your feet are. Yeah, yeah. Yoga moves. Yeah, you move. <laughs>